Alright guys, Scott here back again with another video for 24-7 Hook Sets. Today we're going to go and do an unbiased review of the Guggen Baits. They've been storming the market for the past couple months. Everybody's been hopping on the Guggen train due to the fact that they're um, really good marketing. And with all the hype that the baits have created, they've been hard to get due to the fact of they don't really have such a good, um, I guess you say, manufacturing process. It's very slow because they got to go and do the salt, salt sauce and salt and stuff. And they can't exactly keep up with the orders. But with all that other stuff aside, let's dive right into the view of the actual baits themselves. So first off, we're going to start off the Bandito Bugs. I don't got all the colors of them, but I have one here, and I got another one over there. This is the natural color. It is a kind of a green pumpkin on one side and a silver tone on the other. They come in a pack of seven, along with the green pumpkin color. Everybody knows what green pumpkin looks like. Just your green with some black flake or blue flake, whichever kind of green pumpkin you prefer. Um, along with the bandito bugs, I love these baits. They do very well. They're really good for flipping, pitching, and heavy cover. They don't catch a whole lot because they got that real slender profile, as you all can see right there. Um, they also have these flanges right here on the claws and even on the antennae. And basically what this does, it makes it wiggle waggle all the way out through the water. It makes a lot of commotion. I have caught fish on these. Um, I, I don't, I'm still learning kind of how to bass fish. Um, I'm, I'm mainly a catfisherman, but the bass fishing world is um, it's really cool once you start to get into it. Um, and my go-to baits, my big confidence baits are... The Guggen baits. So let's continue on with the review. So both of these are absolutely amazing baits. I think they get a 10 out of 10. They work really well for flipping, pitching. And uh, for those, you're going to want to use a 3 out EWG hook. You don't have to go weighted if you don't want to. You can even go put it on a jig. I typically go with a small, like probably like a 16th ounce bullet lead. I don't use any of the um, tungsten or anything. I just use some. Some cheap old little lids and it, it works fine. It gives it enough to get down to the bottom, but it, it gives it enough to where it kind of flutters on its way down. So now we're going to go to my go-to bait that I love to use because I love to use crawls. And that's going to be the Kraken Crawls. As you all can see, they got the sick packaging. This is the watermelon and red flake color. I come in a pack of seven. So here you go. You got the watermelon with the red flake, as you all can see on the camera. And with this one, it doesn't have any of the other appendages like the Bandito does with the legs. This one just has these two big claws. And if these go through the water, they just go pss, 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 back and forth real fast. And I've caught one bass on this one. Again, I'm still kind of learning how to bass fish for all this. So. I also have the black and blue flake. I have not had a chance to use these yet. I recently just purchased these. This is actually the first time I've opened them. But as you can see, they're just your typical black and blue flake colors. These would be really good on a jig. Really good in your muddier waters and such. Caught a really big bass on these. This is the summer crawl color. Um, it's similar to the natural in a way for the bandito, but kind of has that green pumpkin color on one side. I'm not exactly going to say green pumpkin, but similar to a green pumpkin color. And then it's got a bright, I want to say lime green to chartreuse kind of color on the other side. I was tossing this bait maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes at a, a, bit of, a big lake where I live. That's um, actually the second biggest reservoir in Indiana. And I was on a itty bitty little kayak. And uh, lo and behold, a two and a half pound bass took it. And I ripped his lips off and on this. Figuratively, figuratively ripped his lips off. Um, he bit it real good. He didn't want to let go of it. Um, and I have noticed I have compared these to other baits, such as power baits and so on. With these, they tend to take them a little bit more aggressively. I think the slaunch sauce really helps. All these baits are stuffed with salt and what they call slaunch sauce. And I, I can somewhat describe it to you all through the camera. It smells like dead fish. 
and like it has a real irony kind of smell with all the salt because that's what that's supposed to make is a blood smell. So uh, all the baits have cilantro sauce built into them. All of them are stuffed with salt. I will say one thing is about these baits, they are soft. So you can get that real, real easy hook set. You don't got to yank it real hard. But they are kind of delicate. They do kind of tear easily. They might last you, I want to say, let's say five big, decent sized large mouth or small mouth, whichever, whatever you're going after. Um, I haven't really had too many problems with them breaking on me as long as I'm being stupid with them. <laughs> they do fine. So let's go on to the trench hogs, which look like this. I got the summer crawl color. Um, I basically want to describe describe this as a a big bandito bug. Basically, it's his skinnier and longer slender cousin. But as you can see, he still has all of the appendages, including these big flanges and these. Um, I really don't know. I don't want to say you want to pitch this. Um, I was pitching it, even though I probably shouldn't have been pitching it. Um, I have caught a fish on this, and I was using this this one bait for the whole day. Um, I got a couple hits on it, and this is from one fish. As you can tell, it does have a big tear in it right there, so I can get my finger in. Right there is a good way to see it. And obviously, it's from, I have a really aggressive hook set, so it's from that. And it does have a lot of action going through the water. And now on to the big boys. These are the Mondo Worms. I got this in a plum color. These are 10 inches long. Um, out of all the Guggen baits, this is the only one I'm not really too impressed by. Because all it is is a long worm with a real short tail and this little flange right here. Um, basically, imagine a, a typical, let's say a power worm, let's take a power bait power worm, let's take a 10 incher, and instead of having a tail start right here, where my fingers are, they just went moved it back, that's it. And I haven't really had too many hits on these, it might be because I'm fishing it wrong, I might be using the wrong color, um, I have gotten a couple hits on them, I'm not going to say I haven't gotten hits, I just haven't ever caught anything on it. I'm not going to say it doesn't work. It probably does work very well. I'm probably just not using it right. Um, it seems like this one is actually a little harder. It seems a little more um, durable. Um, all the Guggen baits, um, again, as I said, they're all stuffed. They're all, you, with, the, with the soft plastic market, you either get a lot of durability with very little action, or you get a lot of action with really, really, really little durability. Um, Guggen is kind of in the realm of like little durability but a lot of action so in turn you get a lot more hits, a lot more bites. Um, with that said, you might not get as much fish as you would out of a power bait worm or something like that. But for the price that you pay, let's say about $7 a package, which is what I'm paying. I'm paying $6.99 a package um, at my local tackle shop. I think they're worth it. They're about a dollar a bait. Um, they really work really well. Um, I'm throwing them on a medium heavy rod. Again, I'm throwing them all with that little bitty bullet weight. Sometimes I peg, sometimes I don't peg. It really don't matter unless you're flipping it again in heavy cover. You're going to want to use a heavier weight anyway. Um, other than that, I mean, they live up to the hype. I mean, they work really well. These are my confidence go-to baits. Like, I feel like I'm always going to catch something using these. I feel like I know what I'm doing whenever I throw these. Even though I really don't, I feel like I do. So, um, not only that, I'm, this is kind of stupid, but the packaging on these baits looks sick as hell. Let's admit that. I mean, look at that. It's like, hey, you got a sexy little crawl, and he's, he's dangling along the bottom, and the bass just wants to get him right up. In the future, I'm going to try to go make a couple videos of me actually using these, but it's 90 degrees outside. And I'm going to be going on vacation. I really don't feel like doing that. And only that, it's it, you can't really use these in the creeks. You can't really use them in streams because obviously the bass don't want this big stuff. They want little Ned rigs and stuff like that. So whenever I go to Big Lake, I'm definitely going to film it because I'm running a whole new camera set up. Definitely going to film this. I'm going to show you all how they work. Next video, I'll probably show you all how to rig them and how to even store them because 
your boy's picky about how his stuff is stored. So, with that, I'm going to go and end the video. I got one word of advice. If you ain't hook setting hard enough, you ain't going to be shoving it through the skull, and that's what you want to do. Shove that hook up into their skull. Again, take that figuratively. Again, remember, keep that hook set aggressive.